This is a video on how to split the cases on any of Honda's 50 or 70 cc motors which look like this. First of all you'll have to remove the entire top end of the engine. That means that you have to take off the four bolts that hold on the rocker cover. You'll also have to remove one bolt that goes all the way through the camshaft and holds on that round cover right here. From there, from there you have to disconnect either two or three depending upon your motor cam sprocket bolts. After those are disconnected, you pull out the cam sprocket and pull it off the chain. Then there's one cylinder, an cylinder head anchor bolt, which goes right there in your cylinder head, which you have to disconnect from the cylinder. Then at this point, you'll be able to completely remove the top end, the cylinder head at the beginning. After that, you'll have the cylinder. The cylinder head, the cylinder will have a cam chain roller, and it'll be bolted up with a 10 millimeter headed screw right here. You need to take out that screw slowly while holding needle nose pliers and, hold, and pulling the roller out here so that it does not fall into your motor. After that, you will have to remove the cylinder, the cylinder anchor which bolts in right here. It has a combination of 10, 10 millimeter hex head and Phillips head. You can then pull the cylinder off. You will then have the piston held on here. It is held on by two piston circlips. Only one needs to be removed to remove the piston. Pull out the piston wrist pin and the piston will come out. Your top end will now look like this with the cam chain hanging out from here. You will then need to remove the clutch. The clutch cover is held on by screws along the outside of the case. Once you have the clutch case off, you can then take off the either three or four, depending upon your clutch, bolts that hold on the inner clutch cover. Inside, you will find a special nut, which requires a special tool to remove. You will need to use this tool to remove the clutch from here. It is best to use an impact wrench, an air impact wrench, or an electric one, depending on what you want, to remove that, because you don't need to hold the crank or anything. It's a lot easier. After that, there is a cir circlip that goes right here that will hold on the large driven gear and you need to remove that. You also need to remove the shift, the shift shaft which should look like this and it comes out through here. Then you need to loosen this a little bit and disconnect the spring from behind this so you can get that out of the way and then you need to pull off the shift star. It's not necessary to remove these pins but it might be a good idea so you don't lose them. Also you'll need to use, you'll also have to use some snap ring pliers to remove the kickstart shaft spring. After you have all the stuff on the clutch side removed, you need to look behind this little, little rubber thing here. And there'll be a 10 millimeter bolt. You need to loosen that. After that you need to remove bolts around the outside of the left side of the case. It is not completely necessary to remove the stator plate which goes here. However, if you're going to be doing much work on inside the engine, it's probably a good idea because you can get to everything easier. When you have the kickstart spring removed, and all the case bolts removed from around the outside, you'll be able to split the now that you have everything apart, you'll be able to split the cases. The best way to do this is to have a rubber mallet, rubber mallet and then while holding, while trying to try your case to carefully apart, aim around the crankshaft, and then you'll see the case is not split.
also be careful with these thrust washers. Sometimes you'll they'll fall out when you split the cases and you won't remember where they went. So just make sure that you don't lose them. Make sure you know they're there. Sometimes they'll stick to the case and sometimes they won't enough to stay on your transmission or here.